Hello everyone, this is Vinita and welcome to Hopeful Turns. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the tutorial of this crochet Christmas stocking. Now you can use the pattern that I'm going to show and adapt it in different ways. You can make it in two colors or you can make it in one color as a complete solid stocking or you can even adapt it and make it into a striped stocking if you want to. Now here I have used cotton yarns to make this. So here I have used red, white and green in cotton. But uh, you can definitely go ahead and make it with acrylic also. And this is a very thin yarn, cotton yarn. And I have used a US E4 or 3.5 mm crochet hook. You can use any yarn that you have. Just make sure to use a hook that has been recommended for that particular yarn. Now, apart from that, you would require a pair of scissors and also a darning needle. So, these are the supplies that you would require. Now, if you're interested to see other crochet Christmas ornaments, I do have a playlist. I'll put the link in the description box as well as on the i button that is popping up. So, if you're interested, you can check that up as well. Now, we we'll move on to the tutorial. So, we'll start this with a magic circle. So, to make a magic circle, take your yarn. Loop it around your finger like an X. Now you take this loop off. Take your hook, pass it through the circle and pull your working yarn like this. So this here is our magic circle. Once you have your magic circle, make one chain stitch. Okay. Now we'll start our round one. So for round one, you have to put six half double crochet in the magic circle. So we'll do that. Okay. So for half double crochet, you yarn over. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, you have three loops, yarn over and pull through all the three. So this is my one, I'll make five more half double crochets. So this is my two, three, four, five and one last one, six. So here I have a total of six half double crochet. So I'll just pull on this end to close the circle. And what I'll do is I'll slip stitch into the first half double crochet. You have a chain one, just skip that. Go directly into the first half double crochet and slip stitch. So this will finish a round one. So round one should have six half double crochet. We'll move on to round two. So round two will start with chain one. And round two is an increase round. So for that, what you'll do is you'll put two half double crochet in each of the stitches. Okay. So come to the first stitch and make a half double crochet. Now in the same stitch, make one more half double crochet. So go into that same stitch and make a half double crochet like this. Come to the next stitch. Again, put two half double crochet, one and two. Like that in each of the stitches make two half double crochet each and once you finish your round two you'll have a total of 12 half double crochet. So I'll just make 12 half double crochet and meet you. So here I have put two half double crochet in each of the stitches. Now you might feel the need to put two half double crochet in the last stitch also but that is not required so if you have a doubt the best way to solve it is to count so if you have 12 half double crochet you are good so we'll just make a count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so you have 12 half double crochet there is no more need of any more stitches okay so what we'll do is we'll skip the chain one that we had made go directly into the first stitch and slip stitch so this will finish our round two round two should have a total of 12 half double crochet we will move on to round three so round three again we'll start with chain one now the pattern for round three is you have to make two half double crochet then one so you increase after every other stitch so in the first stitch make two half double crochet so one and in the very same stitch another so two half double crochet goes in one stitch come to the next stitch and here you'll make only one half double crochet so two one two one is the pattern so in the next stitch make two half double crochet one 
and in the very same stitch another one so two half double crochet goes in one stitch in the next one just one half double crochet so this is the pattern that we are going to follow two half double crochet followed by one half double crochet and once you finish this round you should have a total of 18 half double crochet so i'll just make this and meet you at the end of this round so you should have a total of 18 half double crochet so i'll just finish this off so here i have finished my round three also so what i'll do is i'll just go and slip stitch into the first half double crochet and then finish off my round three so you should have a total of 18 half double crochet in your round three all right now what i'll do is i'll just cut my yarn so for that i'll just chain one and pull it up a little bit higher and then cut my yarn off so just cut your yarn and then we'll start off with our next color so i'm just going to take my red color yarn here and first of all i'll make a slip knot you can change the color the way you like i just like to do it like this so i'll just slip stitch sorry slip, i'll make a slip knot and then what i'll do is i'll attach to any one of the stitch that is here so i'll just attach it to one of the stitch here with a slip stitch so slip stitch to attach your new yarn like this and the pattern for round four is you just have to make one half double crochet in each of the stitches there are no more increases just make one half double crochet so we'll start with chain one okay we have slip stitch we have chain one and i'm going to put my first half double crochet in the same stitch so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over and pull through all the three so this here is my first half double crochet like that in every stitch i'll make one half double crochet and while doing that i'm just taking this yarn along with me and working on top of it so that i don't have to weave in later so one half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next stitch so like this i'll just make one half double crochet in each of the stitch here and once i finish my round four i'll have a total of 18 half double crochet so i'll just finish this round making one half double crochet in every stitch and as you can see i'm going to work on these two ends as well if you want you can just leave it like that and weave it in later but I just like to work it like this so that I don't have to weave in later. I'm just working. I'm just taking this along with me and working one half double crochet on top of it. So I'll just make 18 half double crochet and meet you at the end of this round. So here I have reached the end of round four and now we'll finish this off with a slip stitch. So come to the first half double crochet and then slip stitch to join. So this completes our round four and round four should have a total of 18 half double crochet. Now from round five to round seven, the pattern is the same. We are just going to repeat our round four. That is, we are just going to make one half double crochet in every stitch. So we'll start with a chain one. Okay. And then make one half double crochet in every stitch. So make one half double crochet, come to the next stitch and then make one half double crochet. So like this just keep making one half double crochet in every stitch and round five to round seven will have a total of 18 half double crochet just like your round four so i'll just keep making one half double crochet in every stitch and i'll repeat round five six seven and meet you at the end of round seven just make sure that you have a total of 18 half double crochets in every round okay so i'll just meet you at the end of round seven so here i have reached the end of my round seven and each of my rounds from row four five six seven had 18 half double crochet so what i'll do is i'll just join into the first half double crochet and then slip stitch okay now i'm not going to cut this off but i'm just going to pull it a little bit higher okay I'll just keep it like this and now I'm going to make the heel part of it okay so for that what I'll do is I'll take my white yarn and then again attach it with a slip knot here like this and what I'll do is I will 
first of all attach my white yarn in the fourth stitch so this is my last stitch where i have slip stitched it here so count three stitches one two three and here is my fourth stitch okay so into my fourth stitch i'll just attach my white yarn so just attach your white yarn like this with a slip stitch okay then chain one now we are going to do the heel part of it now make a half double crochet here so this is my first half double crochet i'll make a total of 12 half double crochet so this is one this is my second one like that i'll make a total of 12 half double crochet three four five come to the next one make another half double crochet six seven eight nine ten eleven and one more twelve so here i have got my 12 half double crochet all right you have three stitches remaining because we had 18 so three stitches are left here three stitches are left here and we have worked 12 half double crochet okay now what i'll do is i'll chain one and then turn my work and again make one half double crochet on top of all these stitches so i'll make 12 more half double crochet so work one half double crochet on top of each of the stitches so one, two, like that I'll make a total of 12 half double crochet on top of each of these stitches. So here I have worked one more round of 12 half double crochet, okay. Now again I am going to chain 1 and then turn my work and then make one more round of half double crochets. Not one more round but one more row of half double crochet. So go into the first stitch, make a half double crochet and make one half double crochet on top of each of the stitches. So you will end up with a total of 12 half double crochet. So I will just make 12 half double crochet here also. Okay, so here I have finished my third row of half double crochet also. So if you see, we have made three rows of half double crochet and each of the row has a total of 12 half double crochet. Okay, now I'll just take this out for a moment here and if this is how our stocking so far looks like. Alright, so what we'll do next is, I'll just hold it like this. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll push this part forward like this and fold it like so something like this i'll show it once again so you have a piece like this all right this is how our stocking so far looks and i'm going to hold it like this now i'll push this part forward and fold this like so and i'm going to slip stitch over these stitches so here i have a total of 12 half double crochets i have folded it so i should have a total of six slip stitches so i'm going to make slips six slip stitches to join these two ends okay so i'll first of all chain one okay and i'll hold it like this okay now i'll make six slip stitches once i'll slip stitch with one stitch from here and one stitch from here so go into the first stitch here all right and go into the first stitch in this side also like this and slip stitch so this here is my first slip stitch go into the next stitch the second stitch from this end and the second stitch from this side and slip stitch so this is my second slip stitch like that just come till the end of this round so third 
फोर्थ स्लिप स्टिच फिफ्थ स्लिप स्टिच एंड देर इज वन मोर स्लिप स्टिच दैट नीड्स टू गो हियर एंड दिस कंप्लीट्स अ सिक्स स्लिप स्टिचेस हियर नाउ आई विल जस्ट कट माई यान पुल इट आउट एंड कट योर यान ऑफ take this out okay now what you'll do is you'll push this back so this here becomes a heel okay so this part is ready now we'll work on the top part all right so for that now what i'll do is let these two ends go inside we will weave it in later okay and now we have only a red yarn here okay so we'll start working now if you remember we had 18 half double crochet in our round 7 so from next round onwards just just don't uh, consider this in any rounds so we'll consider the next round as a eighth round so this was our seventh round with the red yarn now we'll start our eighth round and eighth round again should have a total of 18 half double crochet okay so now we have to distribute these 18 half double crochet for our round 8 so for that what we'll do is we'll make one half double crochet in the three stitches that is here okay and then in the corner stitch put two so 3 plus 2 is a total of five stitches similarly in this side also we have three stitches here and so three stitches again one half double crochet and in the corner stitch put two so again it will 5 so 5 plus 5 is 10 so 10 will be covered over this part and with the corner stitch included again we have eight stitches left so we'll distribute it evenly over this white part there is no particular place to put just put one half double crochet uh, over this white part making it a total of eight so we'll do that so we'll start here with a chain one to start this eighth round chain one and make one half double crochet in the next three stitches so one two and three so that is covered for the red part now in the corner stitch make two half double crochet one and two so here we have a five half double crochet five half double crochet will come in this side also so we have to make a total of eight half double crochet on the white part so we'll try to make it as even as possible so come to the first stitch here and make a half double crochet so this is one come to the next stitch make another one this is two three and four so you have four more stitches left so i'll put four more stitches on the white part so this is my 5 6 7 and 8 so just go through the white parts as evenly as possible and make eight half double crochet now here you have a corner stitch here there you put two more half double crochet one two okay so this completes a total of 15 half double crochet you have three stitches left make one half double crochet in each of the three stitches one two and three so this finishes our round 8 and you should have a total of 18 half double crochet So just try to make 18 half double crochet as evenly as possible over this round now we'll slip stitch into this the first half double crochet and finish off our round 8 so we have a total of 18 half double crochet for round 8 now from round 8 till i'll just tell you so this was our round 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 So you have to make seven more rows of eighteen half double crochets here. So I'll just make seven more rows of eighteen half double crochet. The last two rows I'll make it in white. So just make one half double crochet in every stitch. So 
every round we'll start with chain one now it is very easy you have 18 stitches just make one half double crochet on top of every stitch so this is my first stitch this is my second stitch i'm just making one half double crochet on top of every stitch so like this i'll repeat it for seven more rows and i'll just uh, change my colors for the last two rows so keep making these 18 half double crochets that is one half double crochet in every stitch around okay so here i have worked a few more rounds here this is my last round so if you see this was our round eight and after that i made five rounds in red color and the last two rounds i'm making in white color now for the very last round here i'm going to make a hanging so this is the half double crochets that I was doing. I have reached here and when you reach the stitch that is in alignment with your heel that is somewhere here. I am going to put my hanging here. So I will make one more half double crochet like this. No, I need one more. Okay. So here I have made one more half double crochet and this half double crochet sits perfectly in line with my heel okay now here i'm going to make my hanging so for that i'm going to make a total of 15 chain stitches so make 15 chain stitch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so here i have got my 15 chain stitch now what i'll do is I slip stitch into the top of my half double crochet so come to the top of your first top of your half double crochet and then slip stitch like this sorry I'll just do it once more so this here is my half double crochet and there I will slip stitch like this so this is my hanging here and then I'll continue making one half double crochet in the remaining stitches also. So just make one half double crochet in the remaining stitches as well. So this finishes our round 15 also. One half double crochet in each of the stitches. Come to the first stitch and slip stitch to join like this now I'll cut my yarn so now I'll cut this off okay so our stocking is ready now all we have to do is to just hide in the tail that I'll just do it so here I have hidden in all the loose ends and our stocking is ready now you can use the same pattern to make it into stripes so you can change the color after every two rounds or you can even change it after every round so you can make a striped stocking stocking if you want to okay so this was a basic pattern on how to make the christmas stocking hope you like this video and you'll give it a try now if you like this video please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing see you in the next video until then bye bye thank you for watching